We are activating your unique self-discovery one show at a time. The Orchard of Wisdom Self-Discovery Podcast are at your fingertips, just waiting to inspire and invite you in discovering just how awesome you really are and how to navigate through life in joy, enrichment, personal abundance, in mind, body, spirit, heart and soul. All the people we bring you are here to serve you on your journey of life. Do enjoy our next show. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Sarah's View of Life. I'm your host, Sarah Troy, right here on selfdiscoverymedia.com. Time out. Mm. Taking time out for yourself is okay. Why do we feel guilty in taking time for ourselves? Why do we feel pressure to be active every moment, always doing, never still? Is it because we've been bought into this idea that we need to always be building in order to achieve? Mm -hmm, I disagree. Stillness, taking time away, reflection, redirecting is essential to our success and guides us on a path that we're meant to be on, not a society's dictation. I'm shutting down for three weeks in the summer, one week to see family and friends and two weeks to write my book or get as much done as I can in that time. I have started, but always there's something else that I'm meant to do, like shows and looking after my grandson, which I love to do, but no work can be done when I do, and intending to my senior lady friend who always wants to go out. It's okay to say no, not now, I need time, I've got something else, or maybe later, or simply I can't do it. It is your boundary, your choice, and you have the right to do it. Time management is really, really important. Equally, so when it is, allows you just to have time for you or to do something that you want to do, but life has got in the way. So, time. Why do we feel guilty? Why do we always think that we need to make an excuse? Why do we feel that if we're not filling our time with something, we're wasting it? Far, far, far from the truth. You see, why do monks go into silence and just be still, not even the humming, just in prayer? Why do, why do all of the religious practices practice that of silence and stillness? It is, yes, a connection to the higher power, but it's also a connection to ourselves. We've forgotten how to connect to ourselves. We're always forever chasing some sort of idea of what we should be and, again, what's expected of us. But when do we stop and listen to ourselves? When do we just say, okay, this is my day, my moment. I'm going to be still with self. And maybe that being still is you're going for a ride on your bike or going for a walk in nature or something that, that you know that helps you open up and connect something that takes you outside of your head. I do believe that our main problems are held in our head. Again, the, the dialogue that's constantly going around of you should, you must, you can, you can't, you this, you that. Um, we hear this dictation forever and ever in our heads and it ends up getting in our way. When it gets in our way, we're not listening to the clarity of the heart and the soul and the spirit of what we really are meant to be doing in that moment. Now, as far as writing my book is concerned, I've been trying to write this book now for a few years. I've started here and there, and then it didn't feel right. And then it was, okay, I'm going to do it by March. And then that didn't happen because I got really, really busy with the shows. Then my daughter needed help with the grandson, look after him two days a week. And I love that time with him. It's very, very precious, which means when I come back home, I've got to work like a dog to get all these other shows out. So where is the time? So the only way for me to take time is to say, close doors, I'm shutting down for a while. And that means I'm going to have to shut down to other demands around me. No, I can't. Uh, not at this time maybe later, maybe not at all, and just go into the flow. Because if the book I have now started again, and it seems to be flowing out of me right now, and I just want to let it flow, just let it loose. No dictation of how it should come out, or it's got to be this format and that format and this and that, etc. No, I'm just letting it be. Let it all come out. 
then when it's all out there, I'll have a look in which order it needs to go in or how it needs to be presented or even what the name of it is. So one needs to sometimes just be present and listen to one's inner self and get out of the way of all that other demand and expectation and say, I need this time. Whether you are writing a book or maybe there's something else that you want to do, it's okay for you to say time out. It's okay for you to say, I need this time to switch off. I need this time just to be with myself. You know when that time is right, is when you can hear the static in your head. Everything's all jumbled up. You've become tense in the body. You've become short tempered. You feel overwhelmed and overloaded. This is the time for you to say time out. If you can make it a practice, a weekly practice, doesn't have to be a daily one, and just say, this is my time. I'm going to do with it what I want to do with it. And maybe, oh, I want to spend it with you, or maybe I'm just going to go for a walk. I'm just going to do this, or I'm going to do that. Or I need to go on this retreat. Whatever it is, if your loved ones don't understand, are they truly in tune with you? And how do you make them understand? If they really care for you or they'll understand, you do need that time out. No, I don't mean make a habit out of it that you're gone every weekend. No, that doesn't work. But make sure that wherever you are going, if it is a retreat, that it's one that isn't there to rah-rah you, but it is one for you to just be at one with oneself. There's a lot of things that are out there that are really great community of bringing everyone together. But who are you bringing together? If you don't know you, if you don't know what you want, if you don't know your why, if you don't feel a connection with yourself and your life and your surroundings right now, then you do need that time out to listen to your inner self. And going somewhere where there's a big crowd and it's rah-rah, maybe not the thing for you because it's not giving you the time to be still. Go somewhere where you can be at one with self. Maybe um, canoeing down the water, sailing, hiking up into the mountain, whatever it is. Uh, for me, I love the water, that conduit of the water that's, that is within you when you're lying on that water and you can feel the water just embrace you. All of that that happens around you, it is absolutely wonderful. And going for a walk in nature, or especially by the water, with the trees rustling and the the water lapping against the shore and the wind blowing the cobwebs away. And those become my moments of just clearing everything away. And sometimes it's just people watching, going for a coffee, sitting there watching other people out of self and just paying attention to what's around me. Generally, something will come to mind, a little epiphany, a little idea, or hearing a conversation that sparks something that I needed to know. Or just, you know, ah, oh, that's what I was looking for. So time out is very, very important. It's very important for your clarity. It's very important for your psyche to be calm and to be still. It's very important for your body to switch off from the demands and expectations and just be present. And it's very, very important for your heart and soul, your soul to speak to your heart and your spirit. And so your mind will know what it needs to know when it needs to know it. So this summer, or this winter, wherever you are, please find the time for you. Take that time out unapologetically and just say, no, I can't do this at this time. I need this time for myself. If other people think it's selfish, that is on them. If you do it too often, you abuse it. Yeah. But if you do have a family or a loved one and you say, I need this time to myself, but then I would like to have this time with you. Let us do this then. And that makes them feel, okay, you need that time to yourself, but we've got something to look forward to. If you are a single person like myself, then you still got people around you that demand time. Then it's just like, I will give you this time, but this is my time. And just set those boundaries, folks. Set those boundaries and don't feel guilty. Now, I'm still going to be doing a couple more shows before I close down for the summer. But I will say that, um, you know, that um, from the 28th of July to the 30th of August, there will be no new shows. 
and I, I'm going to be concentrating on my book and also getting the book system ready for the Forgotten Children book series, which I hope to bring in September all the all the um, participants for that book so we can get that going and get that out to everybody. So if you don't find new shows, no, I haven't left town. Uh, there are 3000 shows here for you to listen to, plenty of wisdom to be heard. I invite you to catch up on all of those and uh, we'll be back at, um, I think it's the 30th of August. I'm going to have a quick look at the calendar here because I am back from the 13th of August doing shows. So the week of the, no, that's the wrong one. Let me get to August. Um, so basically, yes, the uh, yeah, around the 30th of August is where all the new shows will start coming back in. And there might be one or two in the meantime. We'll see where the time goes. But um, I want you to get out and have some summer and have some fun. And as I said, I've got stacks of podcasts for you to listen to. Not everything has to be viewed here on YouTube. If you go to Self Discovery Media uh, slash shows, you will see all the other shows there. And we are on 16 different audio platforms, folks. So you can just click on any one of your choice and look at the streamline of shows that are there. SoundCloud has all 3,000 of them. The rest of the shows have something around 1,200 of them. And that's because I'm slowly moving things over to the uh, to the other platforms. But no wisdom is is dated everything is relevant to you at that time uh and whatever you need to know when you need to know it so have a wonderful summer as i said a couple more shows before i go but have a wonderful summer and do take the time to have time out okay place that value upon yourself take that deep breath go in switch everything off on the outside and just let your heart and soul speak to you because your spirit wants to connect. Until next time, folks, bye for now. We hope that you enjoyed the show. Find all of our shows on selfdiscoverymedia.com under podcasts or selfdiscoverymedia slash shows. And for all our current shows, go to What's New. We are supported by you, the audience. You will see a nice big shiny blue button for one-time donations or follow us on Patreon and you will be able to support us there. We enjoy bringing you such wisdom. And the next show will be up just a moment.